Militants fighting the Syrian army have seized 43 and peacekeepers in a demilitarized section of the Golan Heights, and trapped another 81 in the region. The world body is working to secure their release, the United Nations said. And the UNHIGH Commissioner for Refugees said that the Syrian crisis has become the biggest humanitarian emergency of our era, with 3 million Syrians now forced outside the country. The affected peacekeepers are from the Philippines and Fiji, unspokesman Stefan Duyark told reporters. The 43 peacekeepers from Fiji were forced to surrender their weapons and taken hostage near the Canetra crossing, but 81 Filipino blue helmets held their ground and refused to disarm, the Filipino Defense Department said. This resulted in a standoff which is still the prevailing situation at this time as unofficials try to peacefully resolve the situation, said the statement from Manila. Fiji Army Chief Brigadier General Moses T. Koidoga said the captured peacekeepers were all safe, and asked people in the Pacific nation to pray that they are released unharmed. Syrian rebels, including fighters from the al qaeda affiliate Al-Nusra Front, stormed the crossing at Kanitra on Wednesday, sparking an exchange of gunfire with Israeli troops. Kanitra is the only crossing between the Syrian and the Israeli-controlled side of the strategic plateau. General Domingo Tutan Jr., a spokesman for the armed forces of the Philippines, said the troops had a right to defend themselves. Our soldiers are prepared, trained and capable of dealing with these situations, and will take risks to fulfill our commitment to international security and peace. The peacekeeping contingent has the right to defend its position and the units in line with the unprotocols and rules of engagement," he said. Meanwhile senior IDF sources appraised on Thursday that Syrian President Bashar Assad's forces would attack the Syrian side of the Golan Heights over the course of the night, after the Kanitra border crossing to Israel on that side was captured by rebel forces the day before. According to the IDF sources, the Syrian army is currently dispatching more troops to the area, and likewise the IDF is reinforcing its soldiers on the Israeli side of the Golan Heights out of concern that the fighting may spill over.